are you ladies doing? We are doing good. We're slowly finding problems. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> oh, finding problems? <laughs> as far as I can tell so far, our lab projects have been a, quite a big success um, for a lot of students, seeing how they've really adapted to doing physics at home, taking ownership and, and um, really being ambitious. We've sort of shifted our focus a little bit um, to measuring magnetic fields with like an app in our phones. So we're actually able to measure sort of magnetic fields from like electronic components or um, from the earth. And someone came up with the idea of using fruits as batteries and then measuring those magnetic fields and seeing which fruits produce a stronger current and therefore a stronger magnetic field. So I am APA for Physics 1112, which is mechanics and heat. In a sense, it is similar to what we had been doing in person, right? I usually walk around the room, check in on groups every so often. What have you come across? How to attach the hair tie to the paper shelf. What do you mean by a paper shelf? Like this, where you can like put quarters in. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen some students getting really creative with how do you measure force? And if you use like weight, you know, hanging mass as an analogy for force, some of the students are coming up with using, you know, coins, which have standard weights that you can look up on the internet. Clearly showing, I think, what students are really capable of. Were you able to come up with a solution? To yeah, your... we use Ziploc bags. And then oh, okay. Bags. As an instructor, we've also had to get creative with um, coming up with activities at home. In physics, we usually do all kinds of really fun and interactive demonstrations in the class. And so now I've had to think outside the box and look around my house and what have I got that can replicate this fun demonstration that I would typically do um, and how do I adapt it? Hey, hey, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dominic says we have a lot of trust in physics. Thank you. I think the shift to online has um, caused us all to really focus on what's important and critical um, for students moving forward. And so I think that has set us up for success with whatever happens in the fall for students to come back and continue on into their next courses.